Hello and welcome to the tutorial for the CE Electronics Elite PI Designer. With the CE Electronics Elite PI Designer software, you have complete control over how you choose to communicate with those traveling in and out of your building. Using the Elite Designer, you can set both scheduled messages and floor or landing messages. In this software tutorial, we will go over the basic functions and features of the CE Electronics Elite PI Designer software. We will go over where to download the designer software, how to open a pre-made design in the software, how to create a floor-based message, how to create and schedule a scheduled message, and finally how to save your design to be used on your screens. Let's get started with where to download the CE Electronics Elite PI designer software. In any internet browser, go to ceelectronics.com slash software. Scroll down to the list of software and select the Elite PI Designer. This will open the Elite PI Designer page. From here, you will find tutorials, frequently asked questions, and the link to download the software and manual. Click on the software text. This will download the software to your computer. Typically, your internet browser will save the downloaded file to your downloads folder. Go to your downloads folder and look for the Elite PI Designer.exe file. Right click and select Open. If your computer brings up a window saying that this software is unrecognized and warns you not to install, select More Info and then select Run Anyway. Then click Next. If you wish to have a shortcut to the designer on your desktop, leave this option selected, then click Next. Then click Install. Finally, click Finish. Now you have successfully downloaded the Elite PI Designer. Now that you have downloaded the Elite PI Designer, let's bring in your building's screen design. At some point, you should have received an email from CE Electronics containing your specific building design. This file is most commonly a .zip file and is named either usbinstaller.zip or the name of your building .zip. Simply drag that .zip file into the Elite PI Designer to open it. Note that with some designs, you will need to scroll up and down in order to see the entirety of the design. And that's it! Now you can begin editing the design for your building. So we've downloaded the software and we've opened your specific design file. Now let's start editing messages. First, we will start by going over floor messages. A floor message will only display your message when the elevator is either traveling past a specific floor or has landed on a specific floor. For this design, there is a sky bridge at floors 41 and 42. Let's add a message to show this. In the area for floor messages, right click and select properties. In this box, you will have to take note of the width and height. When you are creating graphics for these message windows, all graphics must be equal to the size of the message block that they are going into. In this case, it is 398 by 178. Click Cancel to close this window. Right click again on the Floor Message area and select Edit Floor Messages. In this window, you can either create a message using our basic text editor or you can insert graphics that you have created in another program. In the floor drop-down box, let's go to floor 41. To insert our new graphic, click on the camera icon, which is the insert image button. Navigate to where you have saved your image and select open. I'm going to do the same thing for floor 42.
Once you have made all of your changes and are pleased with the results, click on the green check mark. This will apply all of the changes that you just made to your floor messages to your design. If you want to see the changes that you just made in action, click on the button that looks like a triangle, ruler, and pencil. This is the layout state button. Now your design is in demo mode. It will run through all of your scheduled messages based on their individual settings. To see the floor messages that you just made, hit the up and down arrow keys on your keyboard to cycle through the floors of your building. You will see that once I get to floors 41 and 42, that our newly made floor messages will appear. When you are done previewing your design, click on the Layout State button again to return to edit mode. By using floor-based messages, you can give passengers detailed information about specific floors in your building, including shop directories, office floors, and tenant recognition. While floor messages only appear on certain floors, a scheduled message will continuously cycle through messages like a slideshow. This can be used to show events, advertisements, or to show important information to a passenger. Just like with the floor messages, we first need to know the size of the messaging area. Right click within the scheduled messages area and select properties. Again, take note in the size that you must make your graphics. In this case, it is 768 by 576. Click cancel to close this window. Right click again in the scheduled messages area and select edit scheduled messages. This will bring up the schedule messages editor. Similarly to the floor messages editor, you can create messages using our basic text editor, or you can insert a graphic that you created in another program. Let's add a graphic and then we can go over all of the scheduling options. In the box next to message number, you can cycle through all the messages currently in your design. If you want to delete a graphic, all you have to do is go to the graphic that you wish to delete. For this instance, it is an image saying that Skybridge tickets are sold out. Simply highlight the text in the white window and select delete. Also, you must click on the button that says clear period. This will delete all of the scheduling options. Now that we are on an empty slide, we can add a new graphic. Click on the insert image icon and navigate to your graphic and select open. Now that the graphic is imported into the message slide, we have to schedule it. Down below, you will see settings for what time and date that you want the message to start and stop. This would be useful if you have an event coming that you want to have illustrated on your screens and you want to schedule that message for only a week. Duration is the amount of time in seconds that the message will show before moving on to the next message. Valid up and valid down tell the message to only be shown if the elevator is traveling up or down. Lastly, you can select which days of the week you would like your message to appear. We have made filling all of this out very easy by just clicking on the Set as Valid button. This will auto-fill all of the scheduling options to always show this message. From there, you can either leave these settings or change them to fit your specific needs. In this case, we are only going to display this message when the elevator is traveling up and will only have it display during weekdays. As for the duration, let's check one of our other messages and make sure that they match. When you are done editing your scheduled messages, click on the green check mark to apply these settings to your design. You can see the changes that you have made by clicking on the layout state button and using the right and left arrow keys on your keyboard 
to cycle through all of your messages. At this point, we are done editing our design and we are ready to move on to the final step. We have made changes to both floor messages and scheduled messages, and now we need to save our design so we can send it to our Elite PI screens. In the top left of the Elite PI Designer, click File, then click Save As. It is recommended that whenever you save your design, you always select Save As, and then save your design file with a date attached to the file name. What this does is it gives you a library of all edits that were made to your design. That way, if anything is wrong, you can always revert back to a previous design. Click Save to save your file. Once your design has been properly saved, select File and then click Make USB Installer. Make sure that you are in your Projects folder so that you can find the USB Installer file at a later date. Please note that the file name must be usbinstaller.zip. This name cannot be changed. The file being sent to your screens must be usbinstaller.zip, otherwise the screens will not recognize it. Finally, click on Save, and your design will be ready to be sent to your screens. This concludes the tutorial of the CE Electronics Elite PI Designer software. From here, you can either use a USB stick to update your screens or send the design to your screens using our transfer software. Visit ceelectronics.com software for more tutorials on getting your design to your screens or contact customer support at 419-636-6705. Thank you.